Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to make an OBD2 power saver cable for your car. This cable connects to the OBD2 port and with your 12 volt external battery. That to provide power to your car when you are changing your car battery and you have to remove your car battery cable because if you only remove this cable without having any power going to your car. Your car computer called ECU, electronic control unit, it will reset itself and if it does, you're gonna have a really big problem. So uh, this cable here uh, will provide power to your car while that cable is being disconnected. So today I'm show you in detail how uh, I make this cable. Alright, so let me show you this. My car ignition is uh, off and there's no key in the ignition. Car is not turned on. And I've connected the paper clips to the pin. You can see there, pin 4 connected to the black wire, pin 16 connected to the red wire, right there. And my car battery shall turn up on 26 volts. So there's power to pin 4 and pin 16 when the car is turned off and no key in the ignition. So obviously my car battery is pretty low and it's time to replace my battery. But this just to show you that uh, there's always power coming out of this OBD tube connector pin 4 and 16. even when the car is off. Right, so I've got a piece of plywood here and when you use my OBD2 reader connector to uh, trace the shape of the plywood and then I'm going to cut it like that like that Next, I got a piece of paper and a pencil, and then I'm gonna superimpose the connector on the uh, piece of paper. So with this, now you can clearly clearly see the pins on the OBD2 ports. The small rectangles are the pins. So pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Pin 9 is hard to see because I didn't draw very well at the corner. But 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 right there. Right, so now I'm going to superimpose this piece of paper on my piece of wood here earlier. So, just going to use my nail and point out pin 4 and pin 16. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 right here. And punch it right through to the wood right there, that's pin 4 pin 16 is right here punch it through now I know where the pin 4 and pin 16 on my piece of wood next, I'm going to drill through the other end make sure you drill it straight
next I'm gonna put my screw through these holes I also have my electrical wire ready. I already stripped the wire. And before I tighten up these screws, I'm gonna wind my wires around the screws, like so. I know that this is pin 16, and that's pin four. Now, just have to tighten this up. Very tight. There we go. go you see it go through the other end like so now just have to cut the piece of wood out got my grinder here I'm gonna grind away the screws so that it uh, will be smaller enough to fit into the pin the OBD2 uh, pins but problem now here is I can't spin all the way around so I have to back out one screw at a time and then uh, grind one screw at a time Soon be a problem. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's best to make it flat. So it'll fit into the pin. The pin is flat. Let me show you the wiring here. I also installed a diode. So the power only goes one way into the vehicle. Alright, so I think I'm done. Show you what I got here. This is my diode. And my wire, I sold it into an XT60 connector. And show you this uh, OB2 connector again. The two pins, I ground it flat. Because the OBD2 connector is flat, so easier for me to plug it in. So I'm going to use this connector to plug in my 12 volt power supply. This is my 12 volt battery pack, homemade 12 volt pack. So I'm just going to plug this in and that way I can power, um, I give power, the 12 volt power to my car when I disconnect the, the main battery. And also, I don't have to use this, I can use a regular lead acid battery. Just plug this into this, just have to make a wire that connects into here and should be good to go alright so I got my cable being connected to my OBD2 right there now let's do some measurement so first this connector here it's got a diode so it measure the voltage I should get zero coming out of here so let's see if that's what we get that's what we get right here. Zero. 
that nothing come out of this connector so that's good so that means the diode already blocked the current from flowing back out so let's measure the voltage coming out of the screws right there so that should be the voltage uh, of my car battery this up a little bit Twelve point three five volts. There we go. So it's working. All right. So um, it's time to disconnect the battery cable. But before I disconnect my main battery cable, I want to show you my uh, clock here, my, the clock on my radio and on my uh, car. So it's nine thirty six. Around that. So if I disconnect the main cable, and if this system works, the clock should remain uh, each time and does not reset. So if I see 12 a.m. here or 12 a.m. here, that means the clock is reset. That means the whole system is reset. The whole car is reset. Right? So the clock should remain the same time, around 9 o'clock, something. So I'm going to disconnect the car and leave it for a few minutes to, to make sure that if this works it will keep the power to my car even though I leave it for a few minutes so for this to work you first have to hook up the cable to the OBD2 connector first you have to provide power to the OBD2 connector first so I have my battery pack here connected it's being connected to my OBD2 connector right there. Now it's time to disconnect my car main battery. There we go. Make sure you don't touch anything metal in the car because uh, it will short out the battery inside the car that you already plugged in. So, and the main purpose is to provide constantly provide power to the car um, without any interruption so you don't want to un unplug this cable first and then you go in the car and plug in the accessory cable I mean the the other battery because there will be a, a period a short period of time of disconnection and uh, just maybe that would be just enough uh, to reset the ECU in the car so you want to always provide power to the car. All right, so it's been a few minutes now, probably around almost 10 minutes, I would say. And uh, it's been disconnected. So let's go to my car now. You can see there is still being connected to my uh, 12 volt battery right there oh, we need two ports right there so now let's uh, turn on my car just now put on ACC or maybe on is fine see the dashboard light is on let's see the time now it's kind of too much clay out here we go to this side. All right. You can see the time now is 9.45, 9.46. So it, uh, I, I think I started at 9.38 p.m. So it has been around 8 minutes now. And my clock is still uh, working. It does not reset. Either the radio or the car clock. None of them are reset. So that means the car remains power. Uh, this whole time and the only power to my car right now is this 12 volt battery pack that's it through the OBD2 port alright so there you have it how to make a um, OBD2 power saver uh, for your car 
alternatively you can use the cigarette lighter port and plug in a 12 volt power source uh, when you change a battery it works basically the same but just a little bit different so that's gonna be my next video this is the new project and uh, until then thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time